little blood little blood or primary coagulation primary coagulation we mentioned before we have two types of coagulation uh, primary and secondary uh, primary is re primary related to the platelet while secondary related to the coagulation factors uh, when platelets come in contact with damaged uh, blood vessel they change their characters immediately beginning to swell this is activated platelet swell and release granules from the inside of platelet there is a granules so they will release granules containing uh, active uh, factor so it will become active activated platelet activated platelet become sticky and adhere to the collagen of the blood vessels and to a protein very important protein called von Willebrand factor von Willebrand factor this protein will adhere the platelets to the collagen of the blood vessels also they secrete large quantities of the EDB and thrombexan A2 EDB and the thrombexan A2 will turn on the nearby platelets so releasing of the thrombexan A2 from the activated platelet will act on nearby platelet to activate them as well so all the platelet at the end will be activated platelet activated platelets platelet aggregation and adhesion we mentioned the platelet adhesion to the collagen by the mean of the very important protein called the von Willebrand factor so von Willebrand factor this is the von Willebrand factor will lead to adhesion of the activated platelet this is the platelet activated platelet will adhere by the aid of von Willebrand factor to the subendothelial collagen subendothelial collagen this is a subendothelial collagen with damaged blood vessels so activated platelet by the receptor called glycoprotein 1p receptor by the aid of von Willebrand factor will adhere to the uh, subendothelial collagen this is called the platelet adhesion this is one important uh, function of the platelet functions of platelets Sometimes we can su summarize or abbreviate the platelet into PLT. PLT. So the first function of the uh, platelet is a platelet adhesion to the subendothelial collagen by the aid of the von Willebrand factor through the glycoprotein 1P receptor of the platelet. Uh, the second function, this is the first function. The second function of the platelets will be uh, aggregation aggregation so aggregation is the second function of it what is the meaning of aggregation aggregation means the platelet to platelet platelet to platelet adhesion of the or aggregation of the platelet to platelet by the aid of protein called the fibrinogen through the receptor called glycoprotein 2b3a receptor so we should have platelet platelet interaction through protein called the fibrinogen by the receptors on the platelet called glycoprotein 2b3a receptors this is the normal but in abnormal condition it will be a deficiency of these functions or due to deficiency of receptors leading to two diseases as we will discuss later on pernal surreal syndrome it is a disease deficiency of the glycoprotein 1p receptor leading to defect in the 
adhesion function of the platelet. Another disease is called Glanzmann thrombathenia deficiency of the glycoprotein 2B3A receptor uh, leading to deficiency of the aggregation function. So also there is another disease. We have the first disease, disease of the adhesion. The second disease is the disease of the aggregation. As we mentioned now the, the normal and the disease, uh, we can also discuss later on the treatment used in order to uh, correct this deficiency. There is also treatment as you can see, the treatment to correct the, uh, the deficiency or the disease. Another disease we will discuss, but uh, it is not related to the platelet, is called the deficiency of von Willebrand disease. Von Willebrand disease. Uh, von Willebrand disease is a protein uh, present in the plasma, but very important in the platelet function, in the platelet adhesion, as we mentioned. So, deficiency of von Willebrand disease leading to deficiency of platelet adhesion to subendocelial collagen. So, von Willebrand disease or worm brand the factor deficiency leading to also affection of the platelet uh, function platelet adhesion blood coagulation or the secondary we mentioned the secondary coagulation we have two major pathways intrinsic pathway and extrinsic pathway Intrinsic pathway means that all the factors are present inside the blood vessel. Inside the blood vessel. While extrinsic pathway means that uh, the factor may be outside the uh, blood vessel. Outside. We have uh, 13 factors, soluble factors, inactive, normally inactive, and when uh, need in need it will be sequentially activated sequential activated means that it is in uh, sequin sequence or cascade so sometimes we uh, called the coagulation uh, system coagulation cascade biosensors of these factors some of these factors depend on the uh, vitamin uh, k uh, most of the coagulation factors are uh, formed in the liver as we will uh, mention uh, later, uh, blood coagulation, uh, intrinsic pathway, all coagulation factors within the blood vessels. Uh, clotting is slower. Uh, we can see the intrinsic pathway. Clotting is slower, so it is a long pathway starting from factor 12, activation to active 12, 11, activated to active. Uh, when we put the uh, the letter A, it means active. So, uh, factor 12 without A means inactive. Factor 12 with A means active. Here, inactive. And here, active. Uh, 12, 11, 9, 8, 10. This is intrinsic pathway. Intrinsic pathway, clotting is slower, and the test to diagnose or to check the intrinsic pathway is called activated partial thromboplastin test or time. The abbreviation is A, B, T, T. So we can call it A, B, T, T. Extrinsic pathway, the initiating factor is from outside of blood vessel, tissue factor. TF is tissue factor. Clotting is faster, seconds. Here, starting by factor 7. Activate to 7A and then after 7 we can see that activation of factor 10 to 10A. So it's very, very short pathway so the clotting is faster and the test to check 
this pathway is called prothrombin test or BT BT uh, BT the normal range from 11 to 14 second while uh, activated partial thromboplastin test the normal level from 25 to 35 uh, seconds this is intrinsic pathway this is common pathway both pathways merge in factor 10 you can see factor 10 this is the merging of the intrinsic or and extrinsic they meet each other at factor 10 after factor 10 it will be a common pathway called another or the the last pathway is a called common pathway starting by factor uh, 10 and after factor 10 factor 2 or prothrombin activated 2a fibrinogen factor 1 1a and then factor 13 leading to the cross-linked fibrin clot starting the fibrin clot by fibrin threads fibrin threads cross-linking of the fibrin threads by the aid of the factor 13 leading to the formation of the clot or fibrin clot or stable and insoluble black 